Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ Mods are here, and we've got 10 new and updated mods to drop today on the end game mod hub for FS22. For all platforms, we have three new, and for PC and Mac, we've got five new, one of which has already been removed from Mod Hub, but we're still going to talk about it, and we also have two updates for PC and Mac players. I make mod review videos every time mods are released on the official in-game Mod Hub, so get subscribed if you're new, that way you never miss any. And you knew it was going to be fun when there was a tether in the intro. The Bonjour HIT 47N from Agrar Design Austria. They've already released, I believe, one version kind of like this. We got one yesterday. And it's got extremely similar customization. Hey, I'm cool with it. It's just a smaller version, that's all. Weighs about half a ton, 20 horsepower required, 4.7 meter working with, at 9 miles per hour. One thing I will give it is the animation is super awesome. We'll take a look at that here in just a second. Three slots for you guys on console. Wheel setup, we've got a standard wheel, which is just your four in the back. And then you can also add the ground wheel mount in the front. Main color, you've got yellow and you've got red. That's going to be the top. You've got your design color, which is going to be the very bottom of the discs. And your rim color, you can go with a white or a silver setup. Pretty cool stuff right through there. Let's jump over here in this because the animation on this real quick is super, super cool. So you can see it right here. Looking good. Oh, yeah. You can actually see the massive size of it in front of this rigid track. Check this animation out. It's going to go up and then go whoop. Look at this. Goes up, locks in, latches, kachoof. Ha ha. That's so cool. Next up for all platforms, we have the old cow shed. This is from Dutch Modding Inc. It is an older shed built around the 1980s, somewhere around there. We do have some openings here and there. I believe this was a mod for Farming Simulator 19 as well, but I'm not exactly sure if it is or not. It doesn't hold too much. 35 cows and it's $70,000. Not a whole lot to it. It's only 10 slots as well, so it doesn't take up a whole lot. You can see all of your triggers are marked very, very clearly. We'll come around here. I don't think we've got any triggers around the backside. We do have one trigger around the backside. So, hey, that is nice to see as well. Can we open this door? Doesn't look like we're able to. Nonetheless, there you go. That is your old cow shed. And your last new mod for all platforms already. This is the water tap. This is going to be three slots as guard tap to fill tanks with water. Price going to be $500. And it is from Lost Gamer. If you guys are looking for this, it's going to be found in buildings and in container. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players today. First is the enhanced fill type categories. You can see I'm in manure spreaders because one of the things that this does is it adds lime to all manure spreaders, all fertilizer spreaders, and all auger wagons. Uh, it's pretty cool. This is something that you could probably do anyway just by coating, but now every single one, oh, with the exception of that one. Well, that doesn't have lime, does it? No, it doesn't. How'd you sneak away? So that's their fertilizer spreaders as well. Um, huh. There are some in here that it did not work with. Very interesting. And then in auger wagons as well. However, there's already a mod for this. It's limed auger wagons. So, um, yeah, there's a couple things very interesting about that. Anyway, uh, you've also got water that has been added to all slurry tanks as well. This was a feature that came with the manure hose mod uh, or the hose system in Farming Simulator 19. So you've got water that has been added to all slurry tanks as well. One of my favorite mods for Farming Simulator 19 is back and better than ever. This is the additional game settings. This is kind of like F12 or F11 was in Farm Sim 19, but enhanced so much has been added to this so let's just kind of go through it so you could turn on your hud on and off you got your crosshair current date and clock position now i have a mod installed that's overriding those right now but you can change those you also have your 24 hour clock on and off fade effect this fades uh when switching cameras you also have your informational dialog boxes visibility of dialog boxes displayed after buying or selling a machine things like that Camera scrolling on the edges, so move the camera with the mouse in the object placement mode. Pretty cool. Auto start automatically starts the game when loading is completed. You've also got items in the shop, which filters uh, all items. You can also filter it through default items, mods and DLCs, 
just regular mods, just DLCs or all items. That's pretty cool. You got a bunch of stuff from gameplay. So here you've got custom lighting. So custom light configuration, add your own by creating folders, etc., etc., etc. Uh, and you can even choose which ones you want. So that's pretty sweet as well. Currently I'm on Comsden Farm and I really enjoy the lighting of this map. So if you're on another map, you want the Comsden, you have that mod installed, it'll use it. How cool is that? Uh, vehicle camera smoothness, it just smooths it out. I did use that in Farm Sim 19, it's nice. Player, player camera smoothness, very nice there as well. Trailer HUD displays a fill indicator above the trailer when filling. It's pretty cool. Uh, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but it's pretty sweet. Uh, easier engine starting. So this starts the engine by pressing the accelerator key. We already have a mod like that from Mantrit, but cool to see that here as well. Depth of field. You can turn that on and off as well. Gets a little bit interesting. Uh, basically, it adds a blur versus creating something you would expect, like a cinematic mode from an iPhone, but... It's definitely neat. And then camera collision adjustment, the vehicle outdoor camera will automatically zoom in when detecting or interfering with an object on or off. That's nice. Plus, you can even turn wild animals on and off. So when you've got birds flying around or deer running around, you can turn those off. I haven't really gotten irritated with birds yet, but I do like chasing the deer down, so I may leave that on. Nonetheless, this is super, super awesome. The additional game settings, if you're playing on Farming Simulator 22 on PC, you need to have this mod. Next one is the Crop Growth Stage Info. You can see at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, we are showing growth harvested. Okay, well, let's run over here to this field right now. Now, this one is cotton, and it is growing, and it is on Growth Stage 7 of 8. So basically what this does is it adds a growth counter at the bottom so you don't have to go in and try and figure out what's what and when's when. Let's run over here real quick. So this is wheat and it is, or sorry, barley rather, and it is ready to be harvested. How cool is that? Running over here, you can see this is ready to be harvested as well. Boom, we are in the grass, it says ready to be harvested. Now we're in a slurry tank, get me out of here. You guys get the idea. Let's see if we can find one that's not quite growing yet. So field 14 right here. How do I get down there? It's going to run all the way over here, I guess. Anyway, so it basically just tells you when something is ready to be harvested or not. For example, here you can see this is potatoes and it is at the growth stage two of five. It's a neat mod. I'm definitely even leaving this on. That's so cool. Next is the free fences and bushes. And this is actually the last new mod that's on the mod hub, but we've got one more to talk about. So if I go over to decorations and we've got fences, you can see zero dollar dollar bills, y'all. Uh, that means you can place that down however you like. If we can go into uh, landscaping and go into, I uh, see, bushes, plants, bushes. Full freeze, full freeze, nice. Uh, and you can even place down gates as well. So if you're in fences and you've got a gate right here and you need to put it down, well, please let me train two stick claps. Anyway, it's free. It's <laughs> There's still limits, but it's free. And your last new mod for PC and Mac players today. This is the one that was actually removed from the mod hub. This is the direct sell price increase. Basically, this increases the direct sell price multiplier for a multiplier from 90% up to 100%. When direct selling from a production chain, you will now receive 100% of the value of the goods rather than the base game, 90%. This is from Curato Farms, and I'm not exactly sure what caused this to be removed from the mod hub. However, it is not there anymore. However, you could still download this on third party sites. We do have a couple mod updates for PC and Mac players today as well. So let's take a look. The first one is guidance steering, also known as the GPS mod. This is changelog 2.1, added new snap to direction guidance strategy. Also added missing object change configuration XML schema, added option to toggle between dotted lines and normal lines, fixed an issue with reverse driving target direction, fixed an issue with the width calculation for combines, fixed the possible mod conflict with other mods that overwrite the configuration UTIL, also fixed the loading of the GPS module for save games on mission vehicles, fixed the out of bounds offset leading to guidance zigzagging, fixed an issue with loading initial first track, added and updated translations, and 
several improvements. And lastly, today we have an update to the Lumberjack mod. This is going to be changelog 1.1, updated for compatibility with super strength feature in the power tools by Weasel, and pickup distance is now increased to 4x only when super strength is active. Well guys, that is it for today's mod video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss any future videos here on the channel. We got some more fun stuff planned for you the rest of the day, and we've also release the news video so check the pinned comment for a link to that that's up i hope you guys have a great awesome wonderful rest of your day it's almost friday we'll see you later peace